so hi guys welcome to everything is today uh, we are going to create a color a background color changer uh, website in the code pen uh, in last video i have shown you that uh, how to create your own web page but uh, in this we have not done any means there is not any function means there is not any movement we have only here return anything and uh, here was one image also i don't know why it is why it is not there but i uh, we are going to ignore it now because we are we have we are moving on the new topic which is and today we are going to use javascript uh, i have told you in last video that today we are going to use javascript and guys uh, make sure you subscribe my channel to get uh, like this coding videos notifications so guys let's move on to code so first we are going to add one label for our uh, for our background changer website so I will keep the see you all know that uh, how to add the label so first we are going to like uh, we want this bracket I don't know what we can call it and now uh, and then we are uh, we are going to make the h1 and again one close bracket it means heading one h1 means heading one guys it is like the label so whatever you need to type you uh, when you will type this h1 uh, brackets and h1 you need to type uh, whatever you need to keep in your label so I will keep it as back see I uh, see it it will come on the on your page so guys this is our run run page uh, so guys I have told you all this thing in last video also so it's background background color and then changer we will add here changer oh wait I have I have written the color spelling wrong I want to keep the C capital and I will keep the last uh, R and I will write it changer and guys uh, don't see if you are think that you will write this and if you will uh, uh, make any uh, uh, if you will do any full stop and it will close you are wrong that full stop will add here uh, so to close this heading one see guys uh, suppose if you will not close this heading one so and directly you will add heading two it will work uh, I mean it will work but uh, but it will come like a little bit smaller so that's why to close the heading one you need to just do like that you need to make the bracket then you need to uh, take the slash and then h1 and then close bracket then done your heading one is closed and now we are going to add the buttons yep guys we are we need buttons we are going to take uh, red green yellow blue uh, pink and red green yellow blue pink okay we are going to add the five buttons here so first uh, we are going to add the button uh, we are going to not do any more designing in the buttons so first we are going to add the button so for adding the button you need to just uh, want bracket button and and then you need to see you can see here guys here is the but here is your button so now whatever you will type now when you will complete this path uh, wait we are going to add some th more thing see guys when you will add a bracket button you need to just add the ID also to add the ID you need to do like that don't put this bracket first only uh, erase it uh, and then when you will write type here ID then you need to keep here is equals to and then uh, I don't know guys what you can call this all brackets brackets all so guys when you will do like this uh, you need to type your button ID so I will keep this button uh, name as green because this will be the green button and then you need to close it like that so you have set your button id and you have closed it so now we are going to add the text in our button when you will close it you need to type anything here and it will be added in your button button text you can see here guys 
this is your id and this is your button text don't confuse don't confuse in this both i uh, i will keep this id as uh, small g of the green and we are going to close this button button also you know how uh, a brackets a bracket slash button and then close bracket done and now like this only we are going to add some more buttons uh so i'm going to add some buttons first uh button id equals to uh this will be the blue one oh wait what i am doing and the text will be the blue there we go and then we are going to close this button done now the third button will be uh third button will be the red one so we are going to add the red and oh, wait the red spelling is wrong okay now it's correct and then text will be the red and we are going to close this button also done and now the uh, we are going to add some more two buttons guys and that is uh, first we are going to add the yellow one and then we are going to add the add the uh, uh, pink one uh, yellow okay we are done now and then i am going to type here th in the button text yellow and then close this also button and and now the last one is the pink so we are going to type here again the button oh wait but it's spelling strong so button uh, id equals to then pink and then close it and then oh wait and then we are going to add the text that's pink and then close it we are done now and guys we have so guys finally we have done with our <coughs> with with our html we have add our all components here we need this much on, only and we have the screen uh, of which we have we are going to we are going to change the background so now guys we are going to uh, modify it means we are going to uh, make it looks better so first i am going to of body body means our screen guys body means our screen so in body i am going to <coughs> change the text alignment oh wait i am not typing anything i am sorry guys so text alignment text element will be the center because i like center if you want like that or if you want right side <coughs> you can keep it i like the center one oh wait hey, wait a minute guys why it is not changing oh wait i have i have written the spelling wrong okay now it is on the center guys <coughs> and i am done with the body means i am going to not modify it so much so now we are going to do the changes in the button means guys don't forget that you have make the id but that's not means suppose i will type here green green means green button so i will <coughs> her type here green and then and then the background color i will add <coughs> background color i will add then don't think that it will change change it color it will change the color oh wait i have <coughs> i have written the spelling wrong of the green okay uh don't think that the background color will change of the green see it is not changing the color it will not change color because that's the id 
that's <coughs> that's not the i uh, mean if you want to change the color we need to type here button because the component name is button so that's why we have, uh, we need to <coughs> we need to change the button uh, we need to change we need to make the changes in the button suppose i will type here back ground color green so see now all buttons uh, background will be changed because they all are the buttons so we are going to not change the background we are going to only change the margin so because I want the space between all this button so I will keep the margin and I want this green button at this side so I will not confuse which is the first button and which is the last one margin will be minus 3 RAM nope it's too much so I will keep it as 4 RAM okay I think now it's good see guys green button was this side and now it is on this side and there is gaps between all the buttons so guys we are uh, we have done with the uh, CSS and now we are going to move on the JavaScript the topic of our video so there we go and in the JavaScript guys first we need to create a button document so for create it you need to type here btn uh, it's it means button and then you need to type here uh, document oh wait first you need to type here btn equals to document document dot uh, get alignment get alignment and i'm going to type here by ID means now we are going to type the ID so first we need to uh, make the brackets and we are like this we are going to type the ID f of the first button which is the green one so oh wait I am going to add first I want to click here and now I am going to add the ID green and we are done just add the semicolon it's the full stop of the of all oh wait I have not added the select semicolon here guys I'm sorry and now we are going to add the event listener so for it we need to type here button dot add event listener listener and then we are going to type here uh, like this brackets and then click click then comma then space we need to add here and then some more brackets and here we are going uh, we want equals to and like this and now we need the curly brackets and then press the enter and now we got the on event listener guys it little bit uh, looks like the code.org is uh, wait i will show you it little bit look like the code.org is event listener right and now we are going to add our uh, color uh, means now we are going to add the our function oh wait wow what i am doing here here we need to add it sorry guys uh, we have done our all the coding here so guys now we are going to uh, add our all function means function which will be the we are go we need to change the body uh, background means uh, screens background so first we are going to type here document dot body body means oh wait again spelling wrong body dot style dot back ground and then space then equals to and then and then you need to, uh, do like brackets like this and now you need to add which color you want I will add the green one and here you to here you need to not uh, make the semicolon see background color is changed so wait I will show you again 
uh, green okay so so guys we need to do the same thing for we need to do the same thing for all we are going to just copy it i will not copy it because i want to make my video a little bit longer so uh, i will type it fast uh, document uh, dot if you want to copy it guys you need to just copy it and you need to just change the id and the color if you want then we you are done document get element okay and then we are going to uh then we need the uh, then we're going to type it by and then uh id oh wait i want to type it like that and id and then we are going to type here the second buttons uh id which one is which is the blue okay blue and then oh wait i, I what i'm doing a semicolon here and then we are going to add the event listener so for it bt and dot add event listener and then and then click guys if you also like the coding please comment down comment me down means i mean if you like the coding in this website please comment down because i like it so much uh, more than code.org and thunkable because this i like to code like that means back uh, i have told you in last video also uh, ba black uh, background in the coding and uh, colorful text <coughs> i like it means it it's it gives the feel like the coding so now so guys now we are going to type here document document and then dot uh, body and then style and then background and then equals to and then finally bre uh, no nope not this one uh, we need this one and then uh, we are going to add the color which is the blue b l u e not r blue <coughs> and guys we are done so now we are, we are going to tie uh, press the blue button and see guys green and blue are working properly so now we are going to do the same thing and i am going to copy this code because i am i want to not waste my time and i thought why why i want to make the video long so paste it and and the blue will be blue will be the red and the color also will be the red if you want any other color you can type guys it's not important to keep the red means if you want i am not uh, telling like that and then again paste and the blue will be yellow okay yellow yellow and then the color will be also the yellow i want to test my both button are working properly or not wait oh wait wait i have done something wrong i want to do it like that okay now it will work i think oh we are also the same problems there guys why 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 okay now it is working properly red uh, green blue red yellow yellow color looks so much bright guys i like it so much it looks really cool so again paste it and then blue will be the last one which is the oh see guys automatically all the code is erasing blue will be the pink and then color also will be the pink obviously and now uh, finally we are going to test it and guys pink color also looks so much good and then see guys our app is working properly and i like this uh, means you know when we are going 
when we are moving in new website i i always i always uh, start with the i always start with the color changing app you know guys my first coding video on my uh, main channel prem mathre link in the description subscribe that also and uh, on that one on that channel i have made the uh, my first video was color changing app in the code.org uh, so guys if you want please watch that video go go on my channel and watch that one so guys now i think this is enough for today's video i finally we have learned how to use the javascript and uh, in last video i have showed you how to use the css and html to in this video uh, and today we have not do any more in the css and html i think we have used the margin and but and in html we have used the button so guys i hope you enjoyed this video just like this video and subscribe my channel guys and i will meet you in next video thanks for watching